having defeated the Cyclopses at the gates, Kithian was tasked with using a Sphere of Helia to go take down a Titan of Erebus. Kithian and his regulars make their way through a swamp to find said Titan. We still get that epic music. Don't feel any shame if you feel like dancing along to the music. I know I am, even though you can't see it. Naturally, being a titan of the Lord of the Dead, he is using Swamp. Banish a priest! That should be a handy! As soon as we get enough mana to cast it. Go elite vanguard! Damage the titan! Brain Magnet. Ooh, this is going to be an awful, awful deck. Luckily, it is only using Black Swamp Mana. If it was using any of the others or a mix, this could be really, really awful. Because you can get some interesting things happening when you combine different types of constellations. The aura comes just in time, and naturally, with that brain maggot, he took my banisher priest. Because otherwise, the turn after, I could just banish the brain maggot, get my card back, and then the brain maggot, yes, won his award. So, the swift claw and a bad god do substantial damage, and I don't know how much you'll see it here. And I didn't pay too much attention to it in the previous video videos, but I know it happens a lot in some of the other Planeswalkers campaigns. They have a habit of playing instants or sorceries on your turn, right before you end your turn, but before it becomes their turn, so that when it comes back to their turn, the land untaps, which is something you can do, but not a, not all sorceries benefit from that because some because one it only works with instants. Though you can occasionally do it with flash creatures, which then don't have summoning sickness, but flash creatures and instants. And it has to be an instant whose effect sticks around. I think you see it more in green and a couple of times in Chandra's campaign. Grim Guardian. Now going to lose one life in addition to the one we lost. But the even worse sin about that Grim Guardian is is that it has one attack and four HP. Which means that if I attack with either of my creatures, they won't die, but they won't kill it either. So, I'm going to count on this double striker to finish it off. And of course, seeing that, my opponent is going to want to do something about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, because my creature didn't have a trample, and because it wasn't that big, it can send multiple pockets. But only the first creature takes the damage unless it has trample. So our victory is delayed. Though we do have Erebos' Titan playing from behind, so that is always, always good. And now Doomwake Giant. That might have been bad a couple of turns ago, but it has neither breach nor more. Light, so I just send in the eagle or the supply line crane. Ah, supply line crane being attacked by cranes with dropped off weapons. Luckily we only lose one life because we got rid of one of the Grim Guardians earlier. Of course I could take the blunt of the damage without too much trouble and I could have just not blocked but on the off chance that something weird happens, and to get back my Banisher Priest, I sacrifice one of my creatures to take out the Brain Maggots. Banish the Giant, even though it can't do anything about the two creatures that are going to attack. Go in for the kill. And even see the music. Even the music seems to be aware that the match has come to an end, and Kithion has successfully defeated Erebos's Titan. It has a lot of masks. And Erebos himself is rightly pissed. He has zero fucks to give about your giant... Lance. And of course, Kithian can survive the blow because nothing can destroy those epic epic sideburns. But his friends, the Irregulars, are dead. Stricken with grief, he accidentally transports himself to the realm of Bant, where he is met by knights riding lions. And even an angel. Aww. And so, from then on, Kithian became Gideon. And 
looking rightly badass looking. With that kind of swirly shield whip thing that looks really neat. And that is the end of Gideon's Planeswalker journey. Join us next time where we take a look at the origin of Jace.